Moving on to question number 16. Seven men A, B, C, D, E, F and G are standing in a queue in that order. Each one is wearing a cap of different color like violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Some information is given. Um, and at the end, if E is wearing an indigo colored cap, then the color of the cap worn by F is. So we have to find the color of the cap of each person. So let's write A, B, C, e, D, E, F. G. So they are standing in a queue in this order. So let's see. D is able to see in front of him green and blue but not violet. So let's let draw a line like this. And D is able to see um, in front of him green and blue but not violet. So how to process this information? So with this means either A, B, C will have green and blue cap. And since D cannot see violet cap, it means either D or E, F or G will have violet cap. So D cannot see his cap color or cap color of persons standing behind him. So either D or E, F or G will have violet cap. Okay. Anyway. Let's take the next point. So E can see violet and yellow, but not red. So it's given E, sorry, E can see violet, violet and yellow, but not red. This is another information that is given. Then G can see caps of all colors other than orange. So since G is the last person and C can uh, G can d see the cap colors of all the persons except the color of the hat he is wearing. So he it says G can see caps of all colors other than orange. So definitely that means the color of the cap of G is orange. So we'll write the color of the cap of person we found out on the left side so color of cap of G is orange so we found out that now it is given if E is wearing an indigo colored cap so it is given E is wearing an indigo colored cap then what is the color of cap worn by F now we need to find F uh, from this information uh, we know that D uh, E cannot see red so the only possibility of that to happen is uh, red should be the color of cap of either E or persons behind him. So since we already know the color of cap of indigo uh, E as indigo and G as orange, the only possibility is the color of cap of F is red. So we the, uh, the color of the cap worn by F is red. So answer is C. So this is the solution to question number 16. So we don't we 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 don't have to process any of this information. Uh, we don't have to find the color of cap of A, B, C or D. Um, uh, we just need uh, to find the color of cap of uh, F. And since we need to do every question in as little time as possible, we just need to find the answer of answer of uh, the color cap the color of the cap worn by F and we can move on to the next question. So this is the solution to the question 16.